Greetings and welcome to Educate. Today we're going to be talking about the condition diabetes mellitus. So diabetes mellitus is a condition maybe many of you have had it is just diabetes simply in general terms but then scientifically is diabetes mellitus. So what is diabetes mellitus? Diabetes mellitus is a disorder which is characterized by high blood glucose levels resulting in increased fatigue which is tiredness, dehydration and lack of energy. So this is high blood glucose levels so high blood glucose refers to the high amount of glucose uh, levels in your blood so it means your blood contains more glucose or more more sugar so it means that you have consumed a lot of food which contains sugar or sugar content suppose you consume a cake you consume you consume things that contain sugar therefore you will have high blood glucose levels so this will result in increased fatigue dehydration and lack of energy so we've got two types of diabetes it's not only one type so we've got two types of diabetes mellitus so we've got type 1 diabetes and type 2 diabetes so what makes us to differentiate between two types why not have one diabetes only is because those diabetes are caused and treated in a different manner that's why we have to separate them into type 1 and type 2 but at the end of the day it's still diabetes so diabetes mellitus so let's go to type 1 Type 1 diabetes is caused uh, by, by, by it's, a, it's usually an inherited disorder or a loss of insulin producing cells in the pancreas. So here, when we say inherited disorder, it means it comes from the older generation or it means that uh, you were, it was passed down from a mother to a son or a mother to, to a grandson or whatever, whatever, whatever. So that's inheritance from your genes, right? or the loss of insulin producing cells in the pancreas remember that uh, when we're talking about the function of the pancreas the pancreas contains isolate of langhas which are the insulin producing cells so isolate of langhas produce insulin so insulin is basically responsible remember that insulin is responsible for 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 for, for, for the control of high blood glucose levels so if you lack those cells producing insulin in the pancreas, therefore, you will not be able to control your high blood glucose levels. So how do you treat type 1 diabetes? So the treatment is as simple as possible. So treatment is lifelong disorder that requires daily injections of insulin and special adapted diet. Oh, not simple. Oh, so lifelong disorder, so it means this can take the whole of your lifetime. So it means it cannot be totally cured or yes. So it requires daily injections of insulin. So why do you inject insulin? It is because you have less of insulin producing cells in the pancreas. So it means you are now producing less insulin or you are producing insulin that is not enough to control your blood glucose levels. Therefore, you have to find that insulin somewhere else because your body cannot produce it on its own. What do you do? you you inject that insulin so this tells us a lot about insulin that insulin can be injected into you okay so you will need a specially adapted diet i mean you cannot continue to consume a lot of sugar even if you have diabetes you just want it to be fatal so you will be increasing the symptoms of diabetes if you keep on consuming a lot of sugars so you have to have a specially adapted diet that will make sure that it will regulate the sugar levels in your blood then we move to type 2 diabetes so type 2 diabetes is caused uh where when insulin resistance so insulin resistance is uh where, where the body does not produce or react to insulin so this is insulin resistant. So it's usually as a result of poor lifestyle choices. So type 2 diabetes happens where the body does not produce or react to insulin. So it means even if you inject insulin, therefore you cannot even, like if you use the treatment here in type 1 diabetes, you will not be able to cure it because it is resistant against insulin. That's what insulin resistance means. Insulin resistance simply means that it is resistant, resistant against insulin or it cannot react or it cannot be affected by the presence of insulin. Therefore, even if you inject an insulin injection like in type 1 diabetes, it will not have an impact on the disease. So, 
the treatment for this is maintaining a balanced diet so make sure that you just eat a balanced diet don't eat a, a, a diet a diet which contains more sugar because it will worsen the situation and you will need regular exercise and medication so the medication here is not referring to the injection of the insulin it's not the same thing because that type 2 disease is insulin resistant so the body cannot be impacted by the presence of insulin in it thank you for watching greetings and welcome to educate today we're going to be talking about the condition diabetes